I've shot my last four vlogs on this camera here, the Sony ZV-1. This is hands down, I think, the best vlogging camera out there. This is why. Also, welcome to our channel, Little Creative, Little Organized. First off, it's size, it's so tiny. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand. That's how small it is. All you need is a tiny little Jovi tripod and that's your setup right there. You don't need anything more than that. Literally, it can fit in your pocket. Uh, uh, boom, can you see that? Right in there. So it's really nice because it's so inconspicuous and if you're just holding it like this too, it's even more inconspicuous. What I used to vlog with was a DSLR, a shotgun mic, and a tripod. And I'd have to lug that around everywhere. Now all I need is this little Sony ZV-1 camera and this tiny little Jovi tripod. So compare this to this, <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, the size difference is just a huge, huge selling component and the quality is amazing for this little size here. And then besides the camera being small, the batteries are teeny. Look at this. I shot half a day on one of these. With three batteries, you'll probably have more than enough for the whole day. I have three batteries. The audio, so it has this so it has a built-in microphone right here. It's surprisingly amazing <laughs> for when you shoot outside. And then it has this little like windsock that you just plug in here where your flash or audio would go. And it just sits over this built-in mic and it's surprisingly amazing. You don't need an extra mic when you're vlogging with this. This windsock here that you put on top really does uh, help with the wind. That's awesome, that's unbelievable. Like you don't have to have a giant mic on <laughs> this tiny little vlog camera here. One benefit of this camera that I really love, probably I don't know if everyone else would utilize it, but it's the HFR mode and you can shoot up to 960 frames per second, which is so slow. Here's one or two you can see here that I've already recorded. Also, if you can, just take a minute to like this video, that would be really helpful for our YouTube channel. It has the same picture profiles as a Sony mirrorless DSLR. If you wanna shoot in S-Log2, S-Log3, you literally can shoot in those. And if you want, you can externally record with this camera as well, with external recorder at 4K 422 sampling, which is nuts. So if I wanted to use it on a professional shoot, I really could. Also, the lens is, I mean, it's aperture 1.8, essentially a 24 to 70, um, which is awesome. It would be cool if it was a little bit wider lens, but I guess they're working with what they have. The flip out screen, I've never really been a person that's used flip out screens before when vlogging, but now that I have one, it's so useful. And then I found when shooting, I just flip it up like this and I, I hold it like this as I shoot and I just do touch focus the whole time. It shoots raw photos. Well, it's just great to be able to edit those photos instead of JPEGs or whatever. It also has a digital zoom, so you can zoom past the 24 to 70 range. Generally, I just shoot at 1080p, 60 frames per second, but you can shoot up to 120 frames per second at 1080. The negatives, what I don't like about this camera, it takes a second to turn on, which is kind of annoying. I can't just like flip the switch and it turns on like on the DSLRs. You have to press this button here. It also gets hidden under the windsock as well, which is annoying. So I just shot a vlog last week and this is a little hack for the on off button. When you're done, all you have to do is open the screen, turn it, and then close it like that. It turns off by itself. And then you open it and it turns on. Boom, that's awesome. So you don't have to, it kind of, it's, so it's a nice little hack for the annoying on off button and the, like by the time you're opening it ready, it's on and then you can record. So yeah, that's actually, it worked really well for me. The other thing is this lens. I do feel like the lens is a little bit delicate. I feel like it could break and especially the doors that protect it there. I feel like they could easily 
get bent or broken if I put it in my pocket too many times or if my kid gets it. Because this is the camera now too that my kid is gonna grab all the time. The mode, it has a mode button instead of a dial. So this is also annoying. So when I wanna click through, if I do wanna change my mode, I have to press this button and then find the next mode of shooting, which that's also kind of annoying. I wish there was just a dial here that I could scroll through somewhere, but I guess they were just trying to, you know, keep it small and compact, which I would rather have a button than a dial, I guess, if for size wise. The only other thing is the noise it makes when it zooms. So in the vlogs, I just leave the noise in. Okay. So we did find flowers. Because actually a lot of times I'm talking or I just want to keep the noise in. It feels very old school, like those old cameras we used to have with the zoom, like the camcorders. I feel like you would hear the zoom on those as well. And so it feels kind of nostalgic when I hear it, but I still would rather not have this noise here. You can listen to it. It literally vibrates the whole camera. You hear it in post later when you're editing. I wish the lens was interchangeable or at least a little bit easier to take off if it did break. And then I wish there was a focus ring. I don't know how they would do that, but if there was a focus ring manually to focus, it would be awesome. That would make things so much better. Cause now I, I mean, it, the autofocus on this is unbelievable. It's insane. And if you shoot in like their, their intelligent mode, I'm pretty sure most of you just need to shoot in intelligent mode and you just, it will do everything for you. But you have to do all the focusing with the touch screen. I use touch focus the most. There is manual focus inside, but then you have to use this dial here. Actually, this dial too is one thing too. I feel like I use it so much now as I'm changing the ISO and shutter speed and aperture and stuff like that. I feel like this might break, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, if you wanna do manual focus, it just takes forever and it's so annoying. So I'm probably never gonna use the manual focus on this. It is there if you want it, but otherwise, yeah just touch focus. That's it, I hope this was helpful. I definitely do recommend this camera as a vlogger if you wanna get into vlogging or do vlogging, this is the camera to get. I've vlogged for years on a DSLR and it's just so freaking heavy in the way. If you wanna hand it over to someone else, it's kind of intimidating. You have to have a bigger tripod or gorilla pod. This thing is just awesome. If you want someone, like for vlogging, if you want someone else to shoot for you, just put on intelligent mode and it, they'll do, it will do everything for them. This Jovi, Joby uh, tripod is perfect for it. It's so inconspicuous. You're getting amazing quality. It literally is one of the best vlogging cameras out there. And for people that aren't super into like cameras and you don't know what an aperture is or ISO or shutter speed, just put it in intelligent mode and then it has this focus like if you want a shallow depth of field, like a blurry, they even say like blurry background or a clear background, all you have to do is press a button here and it will change that for you. Yeah, I just can't say enough how pleased I am with this camera, I love it. And I'm gonna keep vlogging with it from now on. We're going on a trip to Cheju pretty soon. We're going on a trip to another island pretty soon and this is all I'll be taking. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, one of the reasons is because I have a baby now and I can't, I, I have to, create other space in the suitcases for his stuff. So I had to kind of, this was one of the reasons I had to uh, switch to this. So yeah, I guess if you have a family as well, this is the camera, this is it, <laughs> I love it. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and also please subscribe.